Hey everyone, it's me, Riz. I'm back with a video. Um, today I'm actually doing a different video. I'm gonna be cooking. I'm sorry if it looks kind of dark. I'm trying to figure out these settings. Hold on, let me bring it this closer so I'm gonna light. Okay, nope, I'm out. Okay, so um, I'm gonna be making some. I'm just making dinner, so it's gonna be fried chicken. Uh, I think let's see, mac and cheese, and probably either some broccoli or cauliflower. So I'm gonna take you guys along for that. All right, so let's see where we are right now. Just touching the outside of the bag since this doesn't have any chicken juice. All right, so for seasoning, I'm going to use this Lefty's Spices LLC. Um, I have it in this big bag because um, now these come with the Ziploc closure, but when I got mine, it was before they rebranded it. Um, so I still have... I have to do that. I have to just store it in there. So it's like a little, it's orange so you can see that it's Cajun. So it's fish and chicken mix. Um, the instructions on the bag say do like a wet and then a dry rub, but I'm just going to sprinkle some in here, just kind of eyeball it, and then I'm going to shake it up. Because what I want to do is buy the breader bowl off of Amazon. I'm going to have to clean the counter again. Um, but because um, what you can do is put the seasoning in the bottom and the, <coughs> ooh, the, the vapors from this. Um, you can put the seasoning in the bottom, load your protein, and then you shake the bowl up. Same as you with this, but then you can just reuse the bowl. You can um, just wash the bowl. So instead of this, we have to throw this out. So pretty much, you know, more better for the planet. So, probably should have did this before, but this is my air fryer. Um, I'm going to take this foil out because that's what I'm going to put the chicken in. But <clears throat> I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to do time. I think it says for four minutes to uh, let it heat up. So, I'm going to do that and we'll be back when it's finished. Okay, so finish reheating. We're gonna put the temperature to 390 and that's you know gonna be ready in a minute. Alright, but now we're gonna take our warm pan. Put our this has already been sprayed with a non-cooking uh non-stick cooking spray. I'm not gonna reach down there too far. All right, so my glove dropped on the floor, so I'm gonna get another one, and I'm gonna put it on because this is gonna be the hand that touches the chicken. Uh, so then I'm gonna take this glove off, put it into the bag, on in top of the trash. All right, so let's load up the chicken. And I'm just gonna put them in there. It's not gonna be in a type of order or anything like that. I'm usually doing, I'm doing chicken legs, so it's gonna be a, this. Show you. So this is how I'm laying them in. So I'm trying to do meat to leg, kind of. Um, I should be able to get all of these in here. I just have to maneuver them a little bit. Um, I, I sprayed the sides too, so it's all good. Alright. Because I can use a little crisper plate, but that usually doesn't give me enough space. So yeah, about six pieces is how much I'm using. So, that. And I got one more piece. I'm gonna, let me see if I can like smush them. A little bit. Well, it doesn't matter which way it goes. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be this way either way. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna do that like that. See? All right. So 
Oops. Keep this hand free. All right, so I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna grip with my little fingers to pull this off. All right, grabbing it by this side and toss it in the trash. Okay, so I didn't touch any of the chicken stuff. All right, so this is a little oil spritzer. Um, I got this from either Giant or Safeway. This is actually, this is canola oil. You can use whatever oil you want, but this is to, I'm gonna mist the oil, I mean mist the chicken with the oil before I put it in, and then I'm gonna do it again halfway. I'm gonna show you guys that. But this is so that your chicken gets nice and crispy or whatever you're gonna put it on. So you have to do this till it gets um, some pressure. So pretty much the resistance, like I can't push it down. So now it's ready. And then I'm just gonna lightly, I'm gonna spray it. I'm gonna mix it. I wanna make sure it gets the chicken so that while it's air frying, Like it's not really misting how I want. Okay, that's better. All right, so spray it. All right, because you know if you were frying chicken, you'd be frying it in oil, like in a pan. So this is the, the air fryer. So now I'm going to stick the chicken in, and then I'm going to start it, and. So it's 20 minutes, so 10 minutes, um, we're going to come back. All right. In between, I'm just going to clean up some, wiping up the oil spritzer. So yeah, you're really not supposed to use, like fill this all the way up because this is for the air pressure. So you would put it to the fill line. So as you see, I've used like that much of it. Not a whole lot, but enough. So, to focus. So you can think. There you go. So you can see that the fill line, this is where you would fill the oil to, because all of this extra space is for air pressure. So I'm just gonna put that top back on because I'm not trying to spray it. I'm just going to top back on. And then I'm going to put this. This is the bag that I have the spice mixed in. And I'm going to seal that back up. Because once I use this up I can get the new one that has the zip closure <laughs> okay we're back so now I'm gonna start on the mac and cheese well I decided to do this this is the I want to say Safeway brand uh, it's the cheddar cheese shells macaroni and cheese dinner so I'm not making it from scratch this time but maybe I'll do that soon okay so we're just gonna use a box of mac and cheese today okay <laughs> So, um, it's going to be, <coughs> oh my goodness, I need some water, shows and cheese. So, <coughs> you're going to need, oh my goodness, third position, how did you build time? Uh, boiling water, you're going to boil it for about 10, 10 minutes, um, then we're going to add the milk and butter. Alright, so the milk I'm using is the Lucerne lactose free, because sometimes uh, vitamin D regular milk gives me uh, just upsets my stomach a little bit, so I'm gonna use this. And then just some soft bread, vegetable oil, uh, butter. All right, I'm gonna get the water. Just using this pot here. Um, I'm gonna use this measuring cup. So I'm gonna use cold water um, out of my Brita filter from my faucet. This is because sometimes um, if you use regular hot water, it can have like corrosion in the pipes and stuff and you don't want that in with your noodles. Um, so just use cold water and then in my case cold filtered water 
so that, um, because you're going to boil it anyway, so it can be cold and it's going to be better for you. So, hot. Pour in the water. This is more than enough. I'm gonna pop these back in the refrigerator because I'm not gonna keep these out while this boils. Obviously, it's almost time to check this. So I probably could have boiled it first. Right, whatever. Just let it come to a boil. Whatever. We've already done it now. Pop this back in the fridge. Got that in my shoe. Alright, time to get the spritzer in the tongs. Alright, so pause this. I always like to rinse stuff before I use it. It's just a habit. Okay, so get a little of a minute just in case it's hot. So we're gonna pull this out. Okay, you can hear the sizzle, and this is what it's looking like so far. It's nice and crispy so far, but we're gonna turn it and spritz it with oil. All right. but I'm trying to use the less pots as possible so uh, I'm gonna do this here this is the colorful cauliflower I got this from Aldi I believe sorry that shadow was um, but yeah it has purple orange green and white cauliflower florets so you can steam it in this bag so I'm gonna put it in the microwave on high for four minutes and then let it sit so okay so on the microwave, I put it on top of the, the refrigerator just because we don't have a lot of counter space. So, bring the bag in. And it says hi. It says this side up. So, the instructions need to be up. So, this is pretty much face down in the microwave. And then we're going to do power. microwave anymore so four minutes and okay it's going on okay cook four minutes and then power ten and start and it's going around what's up people <laughs> Oh, yeah, I might be looking into the camera. Yeah, look here. <laughs> so good, people. How y'all doing out there? I'm not normally a cameraman, but you know, it's a little cameo real quick, you know. I have drained this now. Got a spoon for the butter. Butter. Milk. And the butter. Um, the reason 
eyeball it, but about a quarter cup is about two tablespoons. Okay, one tablespoon. back on just so that it melts the butter. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to stir this to melt the butter. I like to get the butter at least going a little bit. Lots of soldier. Sorry. So, Alright, so now that the butter's melted, I'm going to take a quarter cup of butter. So, put that over this into there. Let's take this off. Bae's gonna do a taste test. <laughs> Hello, world. I'm back. <laughs> chicken? Yeah. Okay. I mean, whatever. I mean, yeah. Chicken. No, I, chicken. I know you are. It's probably still hot because I did reheat it. <laughs> like it. <laughs> Alright, guys. So. Ooh, I'm gonna make my plate so I can eat but stay tuned for more videos like this or honestly thumbs up uh, like share subscribe for more videos and I'll talk to you guys soon yeah like share smash that like button <laughs> share tell your friends tell your family tell your neighbors you know let's get these videos up there y'all always want to right. say that <laughs> bye guys with me. Little sweet inside me.